I'll tell you about this bear later. All right? That'll be, and I'll probably pass it around. Somebody's going to want to hug this bear before it's over with. So with that, uh, in case I, I don't think I missed any of the, I'm worried about this thing falling, but uh, you like the James Taylor song, Shower the People? Yeah, anything James I mean, is, right? Is anything it, he sings. Isn't he great? And, and you know what? We're still here to listen to James Taylor. Isn't that cool? It's cool. I mean, we have music from that generation that they can never, ever, they can never get it back, so we keep it going. And uh, I want to make this an uplifting conversation. So with that, uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to talk about my family for a little bit and give you some background on that and talk a little bit about my book, how that happened. And I'll probably do a couple of readings in there for you. And I have books back there in case you want to purchase one. I'll sign the books before I leave today. My mother, uh, Marcella K. Sparks, passed away at 97, uh, the beginning of last year, on January 1st. Uh, my father, Berman, who was a, a Navy, a U.S. Navy career uh, person, uh, passed away in 1998. Uh, when my father passed away, I didn't go to his memorial service. And I regret that. But we had a lot of dysfunctional uh, things going on in our family for many years. But I've made up for it since then. I know my father has looked down on me every day and is thankful that I'm carrying his message and our legacy forward. So we call this a journey of healing. And I think probably everybody in this room has been affected in some way in your life by a traumatic event. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that. But I see a lot of empathy. I see a lot of compassion. And there may be some triggers here with this presentation, but it's all hopeful because we're doing something about it. And we'll learn a lot. I have a lot of things I'm going to do with this, some video I'll show you. And uh, we'll have an opportunity to interact. Uh, there's lots of opportunity to, uh, to have a conversation. But what I do now, in terms of my, the context here, with my life experience, uh, I look at my parents, I'm going to go back to a different way that I did six years ago when I first started talking to Byron Lewis about maybe I should write a book. And he would say, yeah, yeah, write a book, Mark, write a book. You know, and he kept pushing me, and my wife kept pushing me as well. I never had this context six years ago until I started doing the research and writing my book and revisiting uh, my family experience. I didn't have honor in my heart. I didn't have remembrance in my heart. I especially didn't have any forgiveness. I was angry all the time. Healing was something I really didn't understand because there's a, I learned later that there's a spiritual context with healing. It may or may not have anything to do with religion, but often does. But healing, I've learned, is very, very spiritual. Love? I don't think... Uh, my wife helped me and taught me a lot about love. And I think I know something about it right now. But I didn't know very much about it until later in life. So these childhood experiences that we often have in our life could be dysfunctional and profoundly dysfunctional that changes the dynamic of the family experience from love to anger and hate. And that's what we're addressing now in our culture is to heal and move away from all this bottled up stuff that we've had for so many years. 